Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert your 3D model into 2D object and transform this 2D object into 3D model at any time. So let's get started. So in order to get that transformation effect from 2D to 3D that I told you earlier, you need to create a 2D geometry from a 3D model that you want to use in your any project. And there are a couple of ways to convert 3D model to 2D object. And I'm going to show you both methods in this video. So let me show you the first method. Go to the top view and switch to parallel projection. And now let's go to the file menu. And choose expo option. And choose 2D graphic. And here you have to choose the file type AutoCAD DWG file or AutoCAD DSA file. Uh, you can choose any file type if you want. Okay, after you have choose the file type and click on export. Okay, exporting process has done. Now click OK. So if you want to import that uh, to the graphic, you have to go to File Menu once again and choose Import option. And here you have to choose uh, AutoCAD DWG or this uh, file type and click on Import. And click OK. Okay, as you can see, our duty has been arrived. So this is the first method. And now let me show you the second method. To use this method, you have to install this uh, Curious Make 2D plugin. It is not a free plugin, it is a premium plugin. If you want to buy lifetime license, you can contact Design D Solution from Facebook. Okay, now let's select all these 3D. And we need to click on this second tool. And here you have to uh, slam make geometry and you have to choose top option from view and click on this stigma and click on make 2D. Okay, we got the result. Now let's close this data box. Now let's compare this from the previous method and its result. So let's hide this 3D model, select it and hide it, and hide this one too. Well, as you can see, this method provides a better result than the previous one. This provides not only geometry, but also apply the original texture on it. So this is kind of very attractive and beautiful method to use. So let's use this one. Now let's move this 2D object to the bottom of this 3D model and click on this point and place it right uh, this point. Now let's go to the top view and switch to parallel projection. And we need to create a reference line at this middle section. You can create anywhere you want. Okay, uh, we got it. Now we need to explore the previous 2D object group uh, because uh, we need a component for the transformation effect. So explode it, right click and choose explode. And one more time, right click on it and choose make component. Now you, you have to give it a name. It should be very unique name and click on set component Z. And click on this origin, click on this point and this point. And now click on create. Okay, we got fast to the component. Suppose you don't want to use the object from the second method. You can use the object from the first method if you want to. So let's use it and go to File Menu and choose Import Option. And change the file type to AutoCAD file and select this file which we have saved before. And click OK. Okay, as you can see, our 2D object has arrived. Now we need to explore this. Uh, because uh, transformation effect does not allow the nested group or nested component. So explode it and let's make a component from it and give it a name. And you have to set the component as Z. Then you can click on create. I'm not going to click on create because I'm going to use second method. So click on cancel and delete this and delete this too. Now we need to explore this 3D model, which I have downloaded from the 3D warehouse because it is a combination of a lot of group and component. As I have said before, transformation effort doesn't allow nested group or component. 
it is only allowed single component. So we need to explore this until there is no nested group or component is left. So right click on it and choose explore. And right click one more time, explore it. And one more time, right click and choose explode. Okay, explosion process has complete. Now there is no group or nested component. Now select this to the component and hide it. Okay, select all these three model. Okay, we need to deselect this reference line. I don't want this in the component, so deselect it. And now right click on this 3D model and choose make component. And give it a name. Let's type 3D and click on set component is it and place at the same location. Okay, now click on create. Okay, we got the second 3D component. Now let's unhide the previous component. So as you can see, I have one, two, three component and one, two, three component. And I have also placed the uh, component is it at the same location for both three component and two D component. You have to do it the same. Now let's select both this component and right click and choose make component and let's uh, give it a name and type recession furniture. And click on set component is it and click on the same location. Okay, and now let's click on create. Okay, we got a single component that contain a 3 component, this one, and a 2 component, this one. And we have also placed the component is it at the same location for both component. Now right click on this component and choose save as. And you can save this component anywhere you want. And click on save. Okay, now we don't need this component anymore, so select it and delete it. Now we are going to use the DIMBAC plugin. Now let's create a rectangle. And select this face and delete it. Now we need to create uh, a group from this line because the DIMBAC plugin only works with the group. And get into this group and now click on import component from the IMBC plugin and select the previous component and open it. Now you can place this component in the group anywhere you want. Okay, the dragon is very big, so let's reduce it. Now let's hide this rectangle, get into this group and hide it. Okay, now our group is ready for transformation. Now let's see the magic happen. Slide this to the group. And now click on this Canva from 2D to 3D. Okay, look at this. This is the most amazing and impressive things I have ever seen in the SketchUp. If you don't want this in the 3D stage, you can convert it into 2D at any time by clicking on this same button. See, it's working. Now let's copy this one to the another location. Okay, now select this both group and now let's transform this to the 3D. Okay, as you can see, this is working perfectly. I hope you're gonna like this. So as you can see, whenever you work in a project, you can keep all your 3D model in a 2D stage and transform all those 2D objects into 3D model whenever you win. In this way, your computer will never slow down when you work in a big project with a lot of component. So that's all guys. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe my channel.